What's up everybody, Tindo here, and this is my van. You've probably seen it in the background of all of my videos. I don't really talk about it a ton because it's really just one giant unfinished project. It's meant to be a camper van that we can take on road trips and go thrifting in. But really, it's just been here at home being my hashtag thrift hauler. We drive it around town a ton, bring back lots of stuff in it to the house, to the game room, etc., etc. But it needs some work. I bought it pretty well cobbled together and I've just been putting this project off for long enough, but we've got a road trip coming up that we're going to take and we need this thing to be ready. So we're going to do a little bit of work today on it in today's episode. So stick around for that. First off, I am 35 years old. I am divorced, and I live in a van down by the river. You can see even kind of now, it's got a bunch of random stuff in it from the thrift store. But what I'm gonna do now is remove some of the wood that's in there that's pointless. Honestly, someone had some sort of design when they put it together this way. They never finished it, and I've just kind of left it that way because again, I've just used this to carry stuff. That's pretty much all I've done. So let's take out a bunch of nonsense, and then we might start putting it back together in a way that makes sense. All right, this is supposed to be a bed. There's supposed to be a mattress here, but again, I put my Ikea bags up here, and this is where we store everything that we travel around town with. But this is the most annoying part of the van right now, and I'll tell you why. It's annoying because it blocks up the whole back of the van. Anything that's super large that I want to haul in here, I can't get in here because this bed is bolted in. And also, if I want to lay long ways, I can't. I'm actually, my height is longer than this, so in order to sleep here, I've got to scrunch down. It's also very annoying. So hopefully it'll be easy today to get this bed frame out of here and then spun around. Let's try to do it. Whoever put this together the way it is, it's really not bad wood they used, but uh, they kind of used a bunch of mix match screws. Some of them were the proper self-tapping screws that you would want to use to screw in the middle. Some of them weren't. Uh, it was definitely done on a budget. This insulation that's in here is actually pretty much doing nothing. This insulation doesn't really provide any of the proper values other than uh, it would seal something up. So if you wanted to put a toxic insulation behind it and use this to make a vapor barrier, that would be cool but that insulation is really doing nothing the way that it's installed. So that's gonna come out. I'm gonna put some proper insulation in also, but this is all after I do the bed. Today, I need to get this bed ready. That's all I gotta do today. I'm just kind of trying to part all this out so that I have enough time to do it before we leave for our road trip. We haven't made any official announcements about this road trip yet. Uh, we'll make some coming up. Uh, we'll do something way more official. Announce it on a podcast, talk about where we're going get some suggestions from you guys while we're on the road so where we should go thrifting etc etc but none of that can happen until this thing is a comfortable living machine I'm gonna have a pretty interesting time getting this bed out because it's not screwed in at all on this side and then it's heavily screwed in in several different places on this side and it's really just a game of finding the screws I think that was actually all that was holding it in those three screws in that one spot. We're about to find out though. Oh yeah, that was the only place it was screwed in, but now these are gonna slide out of here without having to be taken apart. That's the next question. Because it, it very much so looks like it was just kind of built in right here. I think if I take these wood panels off in a couple places, it might pop right out. Come on, whip out of there. Oh, has it got screws in the middle? No, it's just grooved in there like it's supposed to be. This is all tongue and groove board, so it's all kind of clinging to each other. All right. Will this bed come out? Oh, 
Oh yeah. Hold on. There is one screw over here. coming out of here somehow all right finally it's out Because this isn't really doing any good, I'm gonna go ahead and take it down. So that, look at this. The guy I bought it from told me he had tried to insulate this thing with down jackets, which honestly is probably a little bit more effective than his uh, Reflectix was. This stuff is called Reflectix. But yeah, there's just a bunch of jackets shoved in there. He was not joking. Gotta make sure it's nice and tight. All right. Slide on it. Ah. We're at the good old Home Depot. I gotta pick up some supplies. I need some drill bits. I got some drill bits and some screws. I can get to work now. All right, drill bits. Fresh drill bit smell. All right, here comes the hard part. I gotta get up under here and attach this side, but I'm not really gonna fit very well because I'm large. All right, hopefully this doesn't murder me. It's in there, it's just not sunk all the way yet. There we go. Now we're in there. All right. Now we're cooking. So I've been trying to explain to you how this bed mechanism is gonna work, and I don't know if you understand it or not, but I can see it in my head, and I think you'll understand once I get it done, but I don't know how to build it yet. I've got a lot of designs in my head that I can build it out of wood. But to be honest with you, I don't want to spend that much money on it. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Goodwill bins and I'm going to look through the metal section at the Goodwill bins. There is always bed frames and other various pieces of just other nonsense that could work well for this. Because really all I need is a platform and I need to put legs on it. So let's go to the Goodwill bins right now and do a little thrifting. Maybe we'll find some video games. It's the bins. Who knows what we're going to find. But at any rate, what I'm hoping to come home with today is a piece for the van build. So let's do it. Three CRTs, four, five, six, and another computer one. That's a lot. It's a nightlight. A I'm thinking this thing right here is gonna work for what I need. It's just gonna be a little bit difficult to get out of there, but I'm gonna try.
Thank you very much. So this thing right here is some sort of mount for a monitor or, or some sort of mounting mechanism. But that ball right there is something that I actually use for camera equipment and these are very expensive. So I'm very excited to find it. I just gotta find a screwdriver to get it off. So I also found a PlayStation. Might buy it if it works. It's always a gamble though, because sometimes it'll work and you'll buy it. And it won't play blue discs or something, but uh, let's just see how she acts. See if she has a normal sounding dish tray. All right, power's on. Opens up. Struggles a little opening. But it's really clean. It is missing its back, but otherwise it's really clean. I think it's got dish tray issues because it keeps closing on its own. Yeah, it's got dish drive issues. That's not hard to fix, but these show up so often. There's not really any need to take this apart just to clean it, but I can just buy the next one that shows up. So I'm not gonna buy this one, but it's worth a shot. And it turns out, this thing right here is to hold a laptop and then it has an arm that'll attach to that ball and you can kind of swing it around. So it'd actually be something that's pretty cool for my van, but it's missing all these parts. So it costs about as much to just buy a new one as it would replace the parts. But I am going to get that ball off of there. Just got to get a screwdriver. And then it's real dirty, but I'm probably going to buy this backpack and it might be my new everyday carry. I don't know. What do you think? Is it worth it? It just needs a wash. But I'm going to go ahead and Oh yeah, also, here's a jacket I got for Hannah. That's fire. Put it in there. I also got a plug and play. Millennium Falcon. All right, so, I've got the thing I need for the van. I've got some stuff. Now let's get out of here. So if I haven't told you already, let me tell you again, the bins is a magical place because look at how perfect this fits. So when we're driving around and when we're just kind of chilling out in here, there'll be two mattresses stacked up right here. And then when it's time to go to bed, this will slide all the way to this side of the car. One mattress here, one mattress there. So perfect. I'm so pumped right now. And if you don't shop at the bins, that right there is why you should. All right, I'm back at the Home Depot. I need a couple pieces of wood to finish off this bed and then uh, I think I'm gonna be done for the day. All right, that might have been the easiest trip into Home Depot ever. Two by fours are just sitting right inside the door. All right. Here in just a moment, we should, we should have essentially what adds up to a queen size mattress in the back of a van. Weird or not? Which one's got the juice? All right, so the way this is supposed to work, the way this is supposed to work now that these legs are on, there should be two mattresses here. Then this gets pulled out. Mattresses 
are stacked over there. This is nice and sturdy. And then be able to comfortably sleep two people. And then when the night's over, it will turn back into a couch. And then you can leisurely hang out in here during the day. It's been a long time coming. I'm glad this is finally ready to go. We have slept in here a couple times on this one platform that was turned this way. It was pretty rough. This ought to be nice and comfortable now. All right, I'm at my storage unit for two reasons. One, because I gotta meet somebody here in just a minute to sell them something, but two, because my mattresses are in here and I wanna actually try this work out, see if it's gonna hold my big ass up. Mattress one. All right. So far, so good. Let's see. If that, uh, the second one's gonna squeeze in there. It's it's gonna be tight, but I think it'll go. All right. There you have it. There's now a good old queen size bed in the back of my van. I've just got like dirty slip covers on these mattresses right now. I gotta go buy some new uh, covers for it, but pretty happy. We're about to be rolling to some Goodwill bins near you, sleeping right here, I guess. I guess that's the plan. How does that sound? All right, Hannah's hungry. Let's go get some pizza. All right, what's your name? Daniel. Daniel, <laughs> Daniel, do you do any collecting yourself? Um, I started doing a couple of pops here and there. Yeah, so you collect pop figures. Yeah. All right, well, let me ask you this. And comics. Hannah, Hannah just got her first pop on the channel the other day. Should she open it or leave it in the box? Ooh, it depends. It's, That's always the question. It right, depends. that seems to be the answer we get a lot. The people that collect them either have a really strong opinion for it or they don't care. So she's got a Xena Warrior Princess, and we just don't know. Oh, that's badass. And we're gonna make like a shelf of Xena stuff, but we don't know. We don't know if we should should uh, leave it in the box or not. I would say leave it in the box. Okay. Yeah. She says leave it in the box. <laughs> we probably will. Or we'll probably, I'll tell you what I do with a lot of stuff like that. I'll, leave, I'll get two and leave one in the box and then take one out and put it somewhere else. That's, I've had regrets about yeah. opening really? a couple and found out that they gained their values. So. Really? Thank you. Cool. Thanks, What'd you get? Mmm, pizza. Mmm, pizza. Same. <laughs> and wings. All right, pizza was good. Shout out to Daniel and Miranda. Daniel is uh, a fellow collector. He collects some pop figures and they watch the channel or he watches the channel. I didn't really ask her if she did. Probably not. She's probably cooler than we are. But shout out to you guys. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done for the day, so let's call it quits. All right, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I love going to the bins and buying practical stuff. You'll see, if you haven't noticed already, it's a huge part of my life, walking into a Goodwill and buying something to adapt into something else. The whole inside of that van is going to be built with thrifted parts before I'm done. I'm certain of it. And that's really, to be quite honest, that's, that's not exactly what I set out to make this channel all about, but it is such a huge part of who I am that it definitely will continue to be a huge part of these videos. I mean, we do a lot of gaming stuff here on the channel and that's not changing. I still want complete collections of darn near every system ever made. So we will be doing a lot more gaming, uh, collecting videos in the future, especially since I'm doing all this work to go on the road so we can go thrift on the road and who knows how many video games we're going to come back from our next trip stacked up in with in that van. We're going to I don't there's no telling how many games can fit in there. So do me a favor. If you're into these videos where I make stuff and work on stuff, hit the subscribe button. If you're into videos where we go collect video games, hit that subscribe button. If you're enjoying hanging out, just hit that subscribe button and all of you that are subscribed, make sure to hit that notification bell so you'll get notifications when I post these videos in the future. And a couple more things that I might ask of you before you go. 
Join our Discord. It's a community forum where we just chat about stuff. If you've got any kind of camper van set up uh, of your own that you work on or that you've built or that you just own, I'd definitely love for you to come over to the Discord and share some pictures with me. Give me a little bit of inspiration for what I can do next in my van. And also before you go, here's a big one. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, our live podcast. Come hang out with us. It's going to be a blast. I can't wait. Hey, it's my favorite day of the week. It's my favorite thing to do. And we're only on our third podcast. So just come and hang out with us on Tuesday. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And then until next time, I'm going to go just lay in the bed in my van because I guess that's probably kind of weird, but that's what I'm going to do. Until next time, peace out.